We all have them. Nobody talks about them. Studio visitors. What to do, what not to do, how to prepare, how to put them on a wheel. I learned a lot about all those things with these beautiful nephews of mine. And I'm going to pass that on to you today. Our garage is like, I can't set anywhere, but this garage, I can actually set it. Oh, hon, we have a huge garage. You have no idea how much work we did yesterday to get this thing to where you can step in it. <laughs> you and me, babe. You and me, babe. It's just enough of that. So that is the kiln, okay. okay? And then over here we have the wheel. I wanted them to do all the things, to work on the wheel, work on the slab roller, work on the extruder, but all of that needed to have been prepped and I did not prep any of it. I assumed they would roll out their slab and then they would take their slab to the table and they would work on it. They would wedge their own clay and then they would take it to the wheel and they would work on it. But in hindsight, I did not factor in the lack of experience. Not even Amber got the hang of wedging. Apparently it's a little more difficult than I remember it being. Nor did I factor in the amount of patience it takes. <laughs> As a result, the slabs that they were working with were very easy to texture, but turned out thin. And hard to work with but they didn't know any different so i do not think it hindered their enjoyment at the activity nor did it hinder their success thankfully i can say however it will be easier next time guys preparing for this in the future i will have wedging done because the wedging was all up to me so that slowed us down the most so I will have wedging for the wheel, wedging for the extruder. I will have slabs rolled out for them, pre-rolled, so that they have something to work on while their slab sets up. Because there's only one of me, and once I'm on that wheel, I can't be anywhere else. Use those muscles. Yeah. Let me see the tool you're using. Show me. Okay. I'm coming, Kev. Look, I'm a professional at this. I'll show you. Look Mom, at show you. that. Bonnie, feel everything. Feel this. Feel Even with their subpar slabs, these guys did an amazing job. They also did an amazing job on the wheel. You know, people don't put kids this age on the wheel very often, and frankly, I don't get it. They did a great job. So I guess I've got some tips. By the way, spoiler, mommy's um, taking video. Make sure your hands <laughs> So bad. The, on the wheel. wheel. Who on the wants wheel. to turn on the wheel? Me! Everybody. Walk on! So the first thing we do is we make sure that we weigh the clay. Weigh the clay. Weigh clay. Okay. I didn't know there was a string right there. Just there this is a guitar string. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What? Tip number one, match the size of their hands with the amount of clay that you give them. So Alex and Kevin got half a pound of clay, Levi got three quarters of a pound of clay, and Jackson and Amber both got one pound of clay. And just like you, they will work up from there. Good job, are you left-handed or right-handed? Right. Right-handed. Right okay. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to put some water on there. You have your hands. You need to stand center. There you go. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull back with this hand. <laughs> uh, look at that. You're doing it. Oh, 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 you're doing it.
it. Oh, and now, she's beautiful. take this thumb over here. There you go. And we're going to push in. <laughs> He's off. Oh! <laughs> we got a little too strong, didn't we? That's okay. Oh, that's down. Kevin right there. Well, that was so satisfying, though. It was. It was very, very satisfying. Stop. No, he's not. Stop. It's just calming. Cold. Easy or not. Whoa, look at it! It's it is so good! <laughs> it's so oh, God, good. it is. Tip number two, put your hands around their hands, no matter how old. This gives a clear understanding of where the pressure goes, how much pressure to use, and how to let off of that pressure easily so the clay doesn't move. It, I had been throwing for years before somebody did this with me, and it made all the difference in the world. So I highly suggest you Try it out. Looking good. I did it. Oh. Okay. Now we need it to be a little flatter. Oh, so that means it's going to come out wide. Wow. Okay. Mom, so now look what I did. Look at that, Alex. Can I see? Good job. Can I see? Really good. Whoa! Cool. Uh, that was really good, doesn't it? Oh, better. Yeah. Okay, now take okay. Like that. Uh huh. And you're just gonna use your palm. Palm pushes in. Now I'm gonna get some circles. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now ease off. Easy. Always let go easy. So let me show you the difference. Yep. Slowly let off. Look at that. That's great. Okay, now you're going to take both thumbs. You're going to take both thumbs and you're going to push forward like this. Oh, that's um, to scratch it out. Yep. Okay. So, tip number three, revisit some beginner throwing videos. I didn't. And although there is not a right or wrong way to throw, there are easier and more difficult ways to teach throwing. And although pushing your thumbs forward is the best way for me and Herbert to open the bottom of a pot, it's not as easy to teach that. That being said, I could not be happier or prouder with the success that they have. I want you to put this hand right down on the wheel. See how it's all clean right here? That's because oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually okay, pressing yeah. down, okay? And then pull back, okay? So like this, press. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Now, even less wiggly, huh? Oh, yeah. I think you got it now. I think that's, I think we can call that centered. Okay? Now, the tendency is to use your pinky. Okay. Not going to use your pinky. We're going to use this, this part right here. Okay? Like and you want both hands touching at the same time. So I have this, this hand right here, and I'm going to okay. touch this hand with this other hand. Okay, and now with both of those hands touching, mm -hmm. nothing's gonna get out of control. Okay. So you're gonna push down with this. Okay. And I'm going to put it right here, and then I'm just gonna curl that finger down. Okay. Okay, I think I can possibly do that. Let me get you some water. There you go. Now you feel how that's, Going down in the middle. Uh huh. Don't lose. Don't lose track of this finger here. Okay. And push down. It's kind of hard. Finger in like this, right? Mm -hmm. Put those two fingers next to it, and then I use my thumb to press. Oh, okay. And I've got these fingers over here to keep this part of it from going. Yeah. Oh. In case you were <laughs> wondering what that might look like. So try that. 
put this hand on here. Okay. Right? Because that's gonna that's gonna help out in the long. And in the I long run. Yeah. And then I do yeah, 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 yeah. And do all three fingers this time. Yeah, yeah. Good job. And go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Don't be afraid to go down. And stop. I, See I, how I much like further that. down you got? Yep. And now, now you can use your, this thumb okay. to smooth that out into a nice cone shape. And now I'm just going to move up the pot. Okay. No, no, no. Do it, do it in front of you. Okay. You're oh, trying to right. do it where I was. So, now touch, touch the pot here. Touch the pot here. Get those knuckles under there. There you go. After all the boys had finished the throwing, I called them all back to the studio to paint on the ornaments that they had made. And in hindsight, I probably should have waited till the next day to do this. However, that did leave time the next morning for Amber to go. Because of what I had learned the day before with the boys, I took a little different approach with Amber. I threw a pot first for her to get her hands on and for her to begin to see the different stages that she would be going through with her own clay. This worked really, really well. Because of it, she was able to recognize when her pot was getting a little bit wonky and then I could come in and help um, shape it out. So tip number four, get everybody's hands in the clay before they start their own piece. We did it! Thank you, Emily, for the lesson. Ta -da! My pretty bowl. This is very strangely satisfying <laughs> because when you're an adult, you don't get to do that. Unless you're an Emily, and then you do it every day. Anyways. We had a wonderful time. What do you want to say? What was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part was on the wheel. Yeah, the wheel was very fun. I, my favorite part was when, my favorite part was when you were making the ornaments. You were very, very good at that. And, and, and my favorite part when we were painting the ornaments. When you were painting the ornaments? <laughs> my favorite part was the ornaments. What was surprising? How the clay fell on the wheel. Nothing was surprising. Yeah? So I never thought it would, yeah, I never thought it would be that messy. Okay. Slippery? As soon Slippery, as you yes, get basically. your hands it's, on it. What did it feel like? I think it felt sticky. I felt, I think it felt like a combination from glue to mud. Those two. Glue and mud? Mm-hmm. It surprised you though, huh? Yeah, I'm like, what? Did you enjoy it? Yes. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Definitely. I think it's smaller. Look. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming, Harpers. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody else. What was my first pottery? Yeah. When I was three years old, me and Grandmommy would make ornaments for our Christmas tree. Do you have any ornaments for Grandma? Yeah. 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 We're planning yeah. on setting up the Christmas lights before everybody else. Baby. And you know what? You're going to make ornaments today too. Man, this is fun. Isn't that fantastic? So fun. Wheel. Oh. And this is called wedging. Of wedging. You're gonna so give me a wedge. wedge. I think you're gonna give me a wedging, right? You're gonna give me a oh. wedging. That was not my fault. Kevin, you're not older than Alex. The spinner. The spinner is gonna shape it, right? Yes. And we're gonna make sure that you get a chance. Idea. This is my sister, by the way. You don't know. 
And now the boys went already. Yes. And now, I, and now I get to go. So she's cutting the clay. So we'll see what it turns out as. Not the witch. We shall see. I made my own bowl, my first. I even got it today. And I can't, this hair, it goes behind my ear. I can't, I can't put it behind my ear.